Okay, well, we're farming for Echo, so I wanted to talk about a specific thing for a second. I've been getting a lot of comments like this, where they're saying that I did pull because the five-star selector does a pull animation, and it means that even if I didn't pull Parai G, it's kind of the same thing. So I wanted to use this comment to explain myself as to why I'm doing a no-tide account. So I've been playing a lot of video games since I was a kid. I remember the first game I played was the original Dota where it was just a mod but i quickly transitioned into league of legends and that's where i did a lot of my spending i don't really have a exact number as to how much i spent in league of legends but if i had to guess it might be around a thousand dollars if i'm being honest and that's just that's crazy and that was a constant thing until i got into high school where i discovered warframe now warframe is an mmo if you guys don't know and it was one of the best free-to-play games out there because of the sole reason that that they had a very very friendly free-to-play dynamic wherein you just didn't need to spend a single dime to enjoy most of the game that's where i think i got most of my mindset where being free to play isn't really that bad but recently there's been a lot of talk about being free to play and content creators using free to play using being free to play as a like gimmick to get more viewers and how it hurts the company if you're just going free to play and you're just being a content creator such as tech tone gotcha smack a lot of people i mean if you look at their comment section a lot of people are hating on the fact that they're free to play and that they're not helping the company get money by being free to play and at the same time getting tons of money by making content from the game essentially getting free content from the game and this isn't really that new a lot of people have been doing this for years especially when genshin released a lot of free to play content creators popped up because admit it or not most people are light spenders and free to play and they're most likely to watch people the same account i mean sure pulling for characters wailing out is a very entertaining video to watch but at the end of the day it isn't really that relatable if you're a free-to-play player now i've played genshin i was free to play for like about a year and then i started spending on welkin moon but at the end of the day i haven't even spent like 50 dollars on genshin at most i spent like 30 dollars worth of welkin moon and on honkai star rail even one year in i'm still free to play i haven't spent a single dime on that and that's because i'm broke i don't have money to spend on video games but we're getting off topic here what i'm trying to say is i'm seeing a lot of backlash on free-to-play content creators just because they're free to play a lot of people are hating on them because they think that they're not doing enough for the company that they're incentivizing not spending therefore hurting the company and that they're getting free content out of the game without spending which is i don't know i remember back in 2021 where a lot of people used free to play as a badge of honor and it was kind of weird for a second but when you think about it in especially in games like genshin and honkai star rail where they're heavily incentivizing you to pull characters because they're more powerful than the free ones i don't get why that shouldn't be a badge of honor because if you think about it you persisted on uh, not pulling you had the strength of will to not pull at the same time free to play players shouldn't be shaming other people if they want to spend money it's their money but at the same time they shouldn't really be shamed as well if they don't have the money or if they do not want to support a predatory system i just wanted to speak on the fact about that because i've been reading a lot of comments i'm gonna flash a few comments here in the screen where they're just hating on free to play players how does this connect with our series our series of course is a free-to-play series we're not pulling but like i said at the start of the video there's been quite a talk about whether or not me picking jian jin as my five star was considered as pulling a character because a it had a pulling animation which fair b it gave us the currency where when you pull, you get the pity pulls, like the corals. Here, the corals, after glow corals. And C, it's a guaranteed 5-star, but it's still a pull. So they're saying that if 
it's okay to get the guaranteed five star then shouldn't i have pulled for baiji because i don't know if i because i don't know if you guys know but i didn't pull for baiji the free four star healer that you get on your very first convene that's the three major aspects that they are trying to to say and i think that's very very valid points and that's why starting today i might be changing the rules of this account from a no pull account to a no tide account yeah it's called the voucher of reciprocal tides shit it's still called a tide now i don't know if i'm being honest i've been thinking about this quite hard do i regret getting jan jin instead of just letting it expire and by it i mean the voucher no of course because i'm not dumb i'm not gonna let that expire but at the same time the whole point of this account was to not pull and to show people that it's still possible to enjoy the game without interacting with the gacha system as a whole. I wanted to talk about why I decided to do a no pull account in this game specifically rather than a uh, Honkai Star Rail or Genshin. The first reason was of course the timing of it all. Genshin Impact is a 4 almost 5 year old game and starting a new account even though I have a very very well built account now it just seemed like a waste of time. Same goes for Honkai Star Rail I'm already playing a free to play account there and I'm not really gonna change that aspect of my account pretty soon because I don't have money and at the same time it's very fun to be free to play managing your resources properly so it's either gonna be Zenless Zone Zero and watering waves and it just happened that it, it was the start of the summer and i had i had time on my hands so i was like okay let's try this watering waves game out do a no pull account maybe it'll be good and it's been very very fun one more reason is because watering waves is a very skill-based game compared to like genshin honkai star rail even zzz i've played like 10 minutes of zzz using an, a friend's beta account it was fun but it was very apparent that it was gonna be a gacha gacha game if you know what i mean it was a game that was that had a gacha that was meant to be interacted with unlike this game where even like two weeks in i'm still not having the urge to pull whatsoever even if yin lin just came out yin lin just came out by the way we need to play that story asap but yeah, I want to go back to the comment right here. So you did pull, doesn't the 5 star selector do a pull animation? And does that also mean you don't even have Baiji? When Baiji is kind of the same thing as the 5 star selector? Because you get her guaranteed. Just curious. I kind of wanted to ask you guys about your opinion here. Should I have gotten Baiji? And will I get Baiji if I just pull one time in the standard banner? Is it still a guaranteed thing? Because I haven't pulled a single time. Is it still gonna be by G? Should I get by G? Anyway, even if we do get by G or not, we're still gaming. Right now, we're Union level 38. One day away from Union level 39. Next week, we're gonna be hitting Union level 40. And then we could finally send all our characters here. I have pre-farmed every single material for these four characters right here. And I've also farmed the Echoes for these two right here but yeah we're really really having fun here what the hell is this let's go but yeah this is mostly just a update video about my account and what i think about playing a no pull account i was gonna change the series to a no tide account but it seems like the voucher is also called the tide so now i'm at a loss of what to do should i just pull i, I really don't want to pull i have 107 convenes here but i think i'm gonna just continue playing the game i'm very excited about 1.1 that's gonna be like in two to three weeks yeah i'm gonna be three weeks from now and then after that zenless zone zero is gonna release after one week so i'm also very excited to post content for that game but yeah it's just a quick update video i'm gonna see you guys in the next one boys um peace out